I love Overwatch. It's one of my favorite games and one of my most played. I shamelessly main Junkrat, placing traps at the spawn door, laughing maniacally as I kill the Pharah. In Overwatch, there are four classes of characters. Offense, defense, tank, and support. What if I told you I can describe various spiritualities and ways of praying with these four classes? What's up guys, I'm a son of Benedict. Now I know the intro seemed pretty far-fetched, but just hear me out. But first, a little context. I followed the charismatic renewal in the Catholic Church. The charismatic renewal being a rediscovery of the gifts of the Holy Spirit given to the Apostles of Pentecost, such as speaking in tongues. Something that I noticed that happened at these meetings is that everyone was praying in the same way. They were singing and praying in tongues as charismatics do, but there was no substance. At some point, I wondered if there was anything else, if there was more to it than just speaking in tongues and singing. Then, Overwatch came to mind. What I was seeing in my charismatic group was a whole bunch of healers. It was standard to pray over someone for healing, but as any Overwatch player can tell you, a team filled with nothing but supports will never win. In my group, I saw a trend of people getting hurt because they had no foundation to build their healing on. The demons would always come back. I've seen people who have received spiritual healing multiple times, and they were legitimately healed. Joy came back into their lives as a result of being healed by Christ. But then human nature kicked in, and they reopened their wounds. Some even fell away from the church because they thought it failed to heal them. Part of the problem is there were other roles that needed to be filled besides healing. As I was observing this, I started thinking of solutions in terms of Overwatch roles. Let's go over what each Overwatch role does in the spiritual life, shall we? Peace and blessings be upon you all. Let's start with supports. Someone who has a support spirituality naturally desires to help others and to heal them physically and spiritually. Nurses are a good example of this in the secular world. For charismatics, a healer is someone who asks God for the spiritual healing of others. Sometimes it will be physical healings as well. Jesus, who fulfills all the roles, healed others by curing lepers and even raising people from the dead. Examples of saints who were healers include Blessed Chiara Badano and St. Padre Pio. I didn't start this war, but I'm damn well gonna finish it. Someone with an offensive spirituality either directly fights demons or goes out on mission to evangelize. The offensive spirituality is most clearly seen in exorcists. Catholic Answers as an organization also has this offensive role. All of the apostles were offensive in their mission as they were all missionaries sent out by the Holy Spirit. That's not to say the apostles didn't fill other roles. It's just that the most obvious role that they had was offense. Examples of saints who were offense include St. Joan of Arc and St. Ignatius of Loyola. I give it a ten. The tank and defense roles are hard to differentiate in terms of spirituality. The key difference between them is that tanks protect groups of people and organizations, while defense protects individuals. Defensive spiritualities are commonly found in parents. Parents protect and dedicate themselves to their children. Another example could be the Swiss Guard because they protect the Pope, one person. Saints who are defensive include Saints Louis and Zelie Martin, the parents of Therese of Lisieux, and Saint Monica, the mother of Saint Augustine. It's my time to shine. Tanks protect groups of people. Parish priests are a good example of this. Priests act as a spiritual father for the whole parish, so they fit the tank role quite well. There's a reason we call priests father. Tanks are also people who go through immense suffering for God. Saints with the stigmata, or saints who have gone through the dark night of the soul, and the desert fathers also exhibit the characteristics of a tank. Saints who are tanks include St. Teresa of Calcutta and St. Don Bosco. You may have noticed a problem in this analogy. Most of the saints fulfill multiple roles at once. And you're right. 
Padre Pio was very much a healer, but he's also a tank in the sense he had the stigmata and went through immense suffering during his life. The Apostle Paul acts very much offensively, but he also raised someone from the dead in the book of Acts like a healer would. However, let's look back at Overwatch. There's plenty of characters who fulfill multiple roles. Look no further than Roadhog. Roadhog is classified as a tank. But if you ask anyone who's played Overwatch for at least a week, they'll tell you Roadhog is offense. Yes, there are people who fill multiple roles as part of their spirituality. In every vocation or role, there is some crossover into the others. As I've mentioned before, priests are tanks, but they're also healers. The sacrament of anointing of the sick makes the priest a healer. The sacrament of confession also functions in this way. But Roadhog is still a tank, because he has 600 points of health, and priests are still tanks, because they protect and serve the parish. Now, the reason I made this video is because I wanted to ask you, the viewer, how does God want you to pray for others? Your spirituality is both personal and communal, so what you do with it has implications for your salvation and the salvation of those around you. Help others out of bad situations and help them overcome their sufferings if you're a healer. Are you offense? Don't just fight your own demons and temptations. Help someone else fight, or go on a mission. Defense? Love your friends and pray for their safety. Tanks? Pray for the church as a whole and offer up your own personal sufferings to God for others. Remember that your role might not be the one you want, but it's the one God is calling you to. Be open to his call, and when in doubt, your own personal talents are a great place to start when it comes to discernment. This is, in a certain sense, your vocation. Ask God how he wants you to pray. A team filled with only one rule sucks. Right now, the problem is that the church seems to have too many healers. In the past, other roles were overfilled or overemphasized. During the Reformation, the offense role was the issue. Theologians were accused of arguing and debating issues that were completely irrelevant to the laity. The laity isn't interested in how many angels can fit on the head of a pin. A church with only one role won't evangelize the world. Where does God want you? St. Benedict and St. Scholastica pray for us.